confused, don't they? So, do you want me to get them out, or are you happy with them in there? Well, I think we'll just... Hi guys, and uh, welcome to uh, Cookers Allotment Devon. Uh, it's a bit dark there. Special, uh, special uh, bulletin today. We've uh, got the chickens, finally. From a place called Venn Hill Farm, which is quite spooky, as uh, we are now on Venn Farm allotment. So it was like it was always meant to be. Uh, we've got five of the world's scraggiest looking chickens, but as it's been explained, they are uh, battery rescue hens. So um, I'll just show you them quickly and um, see what you think. So here they are, five. So they're having a bit of a look around. Two were sort of dragged out of the box and uh, the third one looks like he's going to sort of come out on his own here. He's putting a foot out here. Ooh, no. He thought about it for a second there, look, but he's... Uh... Come on. <coughs> That's the one we're on about, isn't it? The scraggy... He looks like he's in... Or she looks like she's in charge of them. She's quite bossy. See, it's eating the grass, isn't it? Come on, chicky chicky woos. Come on, you know you want to come out. Do it, do it, do it. Go on. There we go. Third one's out. Looks like a chicken prepared for your dinner, doesn't it? Huh? Mm. You can see the condition. These. This is why I never ever buy eggs that aren't free range. Look at the condition these birds are in. And these have been recuperating for about three or four weeks before they're given to us. So God knows what they look like. Um, when they rescued and I didn't know but uh, sort of anything between 16 and 19 months the uh, battery hens dispatched because they're no longer financially viable for the battery hen farmers so yeah please don't buy uh, battery eggs not good Mm. Right, that's four out, look, the, the fourth one's just jumped, jumped ship, and still got the the one in there. They're actually making noises as well, they've been completely silent on the journey here. Yeah, we can see all the feathers missing in like a couple of weeks, literally, they'll be, the feathers will grow back. Mm. The woman said, like, all the bits on the back, they were completely near enough bald. Mm. Really bad. Because they've been normally they they would have been out earlier, but they've been kept because of the flu thing. Yeah, they've been kept where they were for a lot longer. So yeah, I wonder how many. It'd be interested to see how many eggs we get. This is their new house. We've got like a little shady area there underneath the coop. Which did I put that bit of wood there? <clears throat> Do you think they'll get out of that, Andy? There. Huh? Do you think they can get out of that there? Look, have a look. Out of what? Good sign. Right, guys. So this is the uh, coop with the door open. I've uh, put a nesting box in that one. So that's actually in the door itself. That's the door. We've got um, an access panel at the back here. So we get into the nesting box. 
this actually part of the door. And then inside, you just put a good layer of straw. So hopefully they'll be nice and warm in there tonight. Yeah, they're definitely happy. Scratching away. That one in there's got the eye. It's got the eye on the veg in the greenhouse. He's thinking, oh, we're gonna get in there, get that veg. Yeah. I feel like Johnny Morris. Was it Johnny Morris that did animal magic? Yes. Yeah, a little scratch here. A little scratch there. A little peck here, a little peck there. Right, girls, I expect you to completely weed this whole area. That's your job. And lay me an egg. Yeah, if you look at that one there, he's in quite... He keeps saying he. She's in quite bad condition. Look at the state. But, in a couple of weeks, I'll do the same shot again, and you'll see how her feathers are growing back, and she'll be looking really good. Right, <laughs> greedy. Funny, isn't they? Hi guys, and welcome to Cookies Allotment Devon. It's the uh, first morning, the chickens were in their coop last night. You've seen the footage uh, a little bit for earlier on in the video. Uh, I've just come down now. I opened the door earlier to the, uh, the coop, but they don't seem to have come out yet. One keeps sticking his head out and having a look, but uh, We'll uh, see what happens there. They might need a bit of a push out just to uh, get them used to coming out in the morning and uh, going back in the evenings. But um, we'll have a quick look inside and I know it's a big ass, but let's see if there's any eggs on the on the first day there. Um, so see you in a minute. Well guys, you're not going to believe it. I've just opened up the uh, nesting boxes and in this nesting box here, We have a chicken and two eggs. That is absolutely amazing for the first day. Unbelievable. So, yeah. There we go. So they must uh, like where they are. Um, just got to see if we can get them out. Try and get them out of the uh, coop now into the run and um, we'll have a scratch around all day. So I'll uh, see you soon. Take care. So uh, it's absolutely beautiful down here today. Monday morning, nine o'clock. Sun's out. Another day in paradise. Everything's growing really well. Getting some nice big onions now. That you can see the size of that one there. Compared to the bricks there, it's only April, end of April, so you think by the time June, July comes around, got some lovely onions. Yeah. So there you go, guys. What came first, the chicken or the egg? See you soon.